Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the installation and configuration of parallel inverter system of ESG2. Step 1. Remove the COM port's cover. Unscrew the 4 screw to take down the COM cover. Now you can see different communication ports for COM cable connections. Step 2. Connect the communication cable to the master inverter. Remove the small waterproof cable plugs one by one and keep them with you. Take down the cable nut and the waterproof plug. Insert the Ethernet cable with RJ45 modular plug into one of the holes on the waterproof plug. Insert the waterproof plug back into the COM port cover. Please make sure the RJ45 modular plug is inward to the COM ports. Plug the RJ45 modular plug into the EMS PAR port. Install the COM port cover by screwing down the four screws of the cover. Insert the rest small waterproof cable plug and nut back to prevent water and dust. Connect to the meter port using the included RJ45 network cable. Install the meter and then connect the other end of meter cable to meter. At last, install the CT. Step 3. Install EasyLink to the master inverter. Unplug the waterproof cover and plug in the EasyLink to the COM module port. Plug in the positive and negative DC cables to the DC connectors accordingly. Step 4. Connect the communication cable to the slave inverter. Now please repeat the steps of that for the master inverter. Insert the other RJ45 modular plug end of the communication cable into the slave inverter. Tighten the cable nut. If you need to connect three or more inverters, please repeat the above procedures to connect the third inverters to the second inverter. The easy link is only needed for the master inverter. The master inverter issues commands to the slave inverters via the communication cables. For more installation details and safety requirements, please refer to the Parallel Inverter System Solution User Manual on the official website. Step 5. Connect DC cables and then power on. Plug in the DC cables. Turn on the DC switch. Now you can power on the system and you can see the power LED indicator is on. The indicator of EasyLink light on and the EasyLink start to work. Step 6. Parallel inverter system configuration via SolarGo. Enter SolarGo and make sure you switch to local mode. Select a Bluetooth signal, which starts with SOLBLE and ends with the last 8 digital of the device SN. Go to More and then click Basic Setting. Enter the actual connected inverters in the system. Select Safety Code. Select Working Mode. Choose the corresponding batteries and pass the meter test accordingly. Now you can go to the home page and refresh the page to see the total number of Parallel Inverter and their status. That's all for the installation and configuration of Parallel Inverter System of ESG2. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.